a little um, Nilfist 26 review here. Um, after unboxing this machine, putting it together, which isn't hard, um, there's not a lot to put together, so you haven't got a you know, big construction job to do. Basically, everything's constructed except for a few little items. Um, I thought I'd give it a review and a shout out because I've not seen any reviews on this particular make and model of wet and dry bike and I thought it deserved one because it's priced at 150 quid and I think you get a lot of bang for your buck priced at 150 quid um, if we look at the box this particular model is the Aero 26-21 PC model there's a few other models um, for small workshops and such um, but this this is the 21 uh, 26 21 PC one and it comes with a few you know cool features push clean um, feature if we look on the top of the machine it's got a blue button and basically when you push that button in it blows air through the filter the opposite way in effect what that's doing is it's cleaning the dust and debris out your filter so you don't have to open the back up and dust it off you know which should be quite annoying if you had to do that all the time every time you're losing a bit of suction i think that's a pretty good feature uh, it's got a blow out uh, feature basically what that is if you turn the machine around, it's got an exit port for your air. Um, don't try and pull it out because it's fixed. If you pull, try and pull it out, all you're going to do is break the machine. All you've got to do is take this out and plug it in the back. And hey presto, you've got yourself a nice little blower. <laughs> um, you could do that. You know, could do with that what you wanted. Um, clean your tools off, pump up air beds or whatever if you get the tool for it. I don't think one comes with it, but I'm sure Nilfist sell one. And if they don't, you could get something that fits. Um, another little cool feature is the wet and dry filter. Um, I think this filter is classed at. It's M class, which is the one the step down from hazardous carcinogenic materials, which would be asbestos and uh, nasty metals you don't want to be breathing in. Um, I'm sure you can get the filter uh, for this model for that, but because it's not, you know, a machine in that class, I'd have, I'd advise against it uh, if you're using the materials, but. An M class machine, 150 quid, you can't go wrong. Especially when you get uh, the Power Tool Auto feature, as Nilfis call it. If you look at the front of the machine, you've got a little flip up here with a female plug port. If you plug a tool in there, basically what it does is you've got a button here. You switch that to the tool button, you plug a tool in here, whether it be a sander, a table saw, whatever. When you turn your tool on, the machine switches on. When you turn it off, your tool off, the machine switches off. Which would save a lot of time and effort, and maybe a few trips, um, going to and fro, fro, um, which I think is a really good feature for a machine at 150 quid. It's rated 1,900 watts, and a lot of tools are rated at that or below that. You could use that on a whole array of tools. A, a lot of saws, um, table saws, are rated at that and below that. So I think that's a really good feature <clears throat> for the price of the machine. Uh, the other feature is it's got a container lifting handle. Um, if you 
take the top off it's got a few catches on the sides one on each side if you take the top off basically what that is is it's got a metal handle on the inside which turns this into a bucket so you can just lift it up and dump it which um, is a little cool feature uh, it's got somewhere to put your metal tool bar handle whatever you want to call it and this is metal which is good because a lot of them are plastic and you know what happens when they're plastic they break all the time it's got a few good little tools this tool which is a floor tool you can use it for hoovering up debris or you could use it for hoovering up water it's got a little um, rubber thing here um, it's got this tool somewhere to put the tools on the machine um, it's got a brush tool somewhere to put your tools it's got a crevice tool um, it's got somewhere to put your cable nice little caddy I like that that it's got a caddy there um, and the little um, connector you get for your you know sanders um, and such it's rubber on the end so you're gonna get a good connection you can I suppose your tools will slot in and on the uh, on the outer ring as well pretty pretty um pretty good i think overall for 150 quid it's a really good machine and if we take the lid off here's your filter Sorry about that. There's your filter. Um, inside, you've got a bag that comes with it. This bag is material. It's a fabric. It's not um, paper. I hate paper bags. And the female connector, pretty tight, and it's plastic, not cardboard. Cardboard crap. These are plastic, which are a lot better. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. You can cover it when you're lifting your bag out. You can cover that so you're not going to get dust everywhere and you're not going to be breathing it in everywhere. You can get one online that... Um, it's not by Nilfisk, it's by another company, but they sell them on Amazon and they sell them on eBay. It's got a, a zip here, so you can um, unzip it, dump it, and your bag's going to last 20 times as long. And I think that's pretty, you know, that's pretty good. It's six layers, the other one. I don't know how many layers this one is, but I've had a look and I'm going to get that. I think it's... Um, a good thing to get I would advise that you use a bag and your filter in conjunction with each other because then your filter is going to last a lot longer and um, you're not gonna you're not gonna um, be replacing filters all the time and you're gonna have a lot cleaner air than using just a bag so I'd use both in conjunction with each other um, which can be expensive if you're buying the disposable bags I mean you could make these uh, reusable but I'd rather just order the one I've seen online and then you're getting a lot more usage out of your bags but for 150 quid you can't go wrong with 
uh, this machine I don't think I've not seen any other machines in this price range that have got you know as many features as what this has and is as you know well built as what this is uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 um, just from unboxing it and having a uh, quick look round it checking suction I'd give it a 9 definitely I'd give it a 9 and I'd advise that you get this machine um, rather than going for one of the other machines with less features it's got a year guarantee some come with three years guarantees but you've got to take into account that these machines they're built by a very uh, good company and um, they're rated um, at commercial use not uh, home use I think that's correct if that's not correct correct me on that but overall I think this is a really good machine like comment subscribe you know all the usual stuff um, and give me a shout